Okay, it's not me if you heard this one. You're running your game. You guys are having a great time. Then all of a sudden, one of your players asks you a question that you have no idea how to answer. Sometimes we get stuck like that when we're DMing a game. But there's a way around that. That's using the Mythic Game Master Emulator. This little book can get you out of a lot of jams with a little ingenuity. I'm going to show you how. I'm Tristan, and this is Heroes in Homebrew. So the Mythic Game Master Emulator is predominantly designed for solo roleplay. It's an oracle that allows you to ask yes or no questions and get a random answer, or a seemingly random answer, but it's based on everything that's happened before. The way it works is it works on the fate chart, which is this handy thing. So your chaos factor is how chaotic the scene is currently. How in control are the characters? When you have a question you need a yes, no answer to, say something your one of your players asks that you're unsure of, or even if you as a DM has something going on you're not sure of, you want to roll this behind the scenes, you roll on the odds of whether it has to be positive or it's impossible negative. From there, you roll your percentile die and you gauge whether it's higher than the middle, the number in the middle. So like if we go 50, 50, if it's higher than 50, then it's negative. If it's lower than 50, it's positive. Within that you have um, a percentage of that response, one fifth, and that'll be an extreme. So it's this extreme negative. It could be that there's even something something else that's impeding it. For every scene in your adventure, you write what the scene is going to be, and then you proceed as normal. Or you write what the scene is going to be, and you roll whether or not it's going to be interrupted or altered. That would be right here. So modifying the scene setup. You have this, your scene set up, you roll a d10. If the result of the d10 roll is above your chaos factor, so let's say for now, for ease of use, we'll say the chaos factor is five. If it's above five, the scene is altered. Then based on whether or not it's an even number or an odd number, it'll be altered or interrupted. Once you know that, you can roll to see what the focus of this altered or interrupted scene is going to be. You roll another percentile dice and it'll either be a remote event, an event something happening somewhere else, NPC action, introduce a new NPC, move toward a thread, which I'll explain after, move away from a th thread, close a thread, PC negative, PC positive, something negative or positive that's happening to the PC, an ambiguous event could be just completely unrelated, or NPC negative or positive. So the thread, you have your threads written down here on your adventure sheet, plus a list of all the characters, NPCs that ha you have going on. So for instance, if we say it's an NPC action, you roll, not, say if you have six NPCs, you roll a D6 and whichever number comes up, that's the NPC that's involved. And then you roll on these two tables. You have an action and a subject. So for fun, actually, let's roll right here. All right, we got 100. So it'll be change, 57, change tactics. So maybe your NPC has, is changing the way he's doing something. Whether it's a, a villainous NPC or a friendly NPC, could be changing their tactics. There could be something in the working behind the scenes that changes how they do something. Maybe somebody has some information on them that is forcing him to change how he's interacting with with the players. So in that case, your scene would be either interrupted or altered, and your chaos factor would go up. You mark your chaos factor down here. 
So you could, in theory, if you have a vague idea of how you're starting your adventure, as a DM, if you had no time to prep, or you're just like me and you don't like to prep, you just wing it a lot of the time, this is an excellent resource. It allows you to basically create everything on the fly. <clears throat> now it does take a little bit of practice to interpret the results of the action and subject tables. But if you know what has been going on in the adventure so far, you put everything into context. So like I said, if it's an NPC and they're changing tactics, what has been going on behind the scenes or even going on in the action of the adventure that would make the NPC change tactics. And that allows you to create a more interesting and vibrant adventure that even you are not completely prepared for. And it creates something like, it feels like it's a living world for your players. And it takes a lot of the weight off your shoulders. So anytime your player ha asks you a question that you've never even thought of, you just refer to the, to the fate chart, gauge what their chaos rank is, and then roll. You don't have to follow the story sheet if you don't want to. You can just wing it, use that on the side, or you can run your entire adventure like this. I am think I haven't used this a lot. I used it I've used it a bit just for the fate chart, but I really want to try running an entire adventure using this. Just coming up with the scene set up for the first first scene and then letting it go. I think it's going to be it'll be a lot of fun for me and my players and it takes a lot of the stress of the planning off of me. You can get it on Amazon. I think this was about $15, $17 Canadian. Uh, there's also, it's also available on DriveThruRPG. Uh, there is the second edition now that's just come out on DriveThru. And I don't think it's available in print yet. I haven't picked it up yet. I'm waiting for it to come out in print because I like having the print copies of things. But the second edition has all the supplements to this, the variations, and there's like a monthly or annual magazine that comes out for it too. I highly suggest picking it up. Whether you just want to run solo games on your own, you can use it for planning your adventures ahead of time. And there's an adventure uh, creator that the, the people who make this, uh, Tana Pigeon, there's an adventure creator and a creature creator as well. Um, it's definitely worth a look. If you ever get in that spot, grab your emulator. It doesn't even need to be the mythic one. There are several free emulators that will basically do the same thing. I just, I really like this. I like how it sets the use of the NPCs and the story threads and everything like that. I think it's a great resource for any DM, whether they're running solo games or running with a group and even using it to write stories. If you're a writer and you like want to write your own fiction, this is a great resource as well. So I'll put a link for it in the description below. You guys can go pick it up at drive through or Amazon and save a seat for me at your table.